So let's go with the acid flow. But first, let's remember the words of power, words of destruction, and this is conversion. This is changing from a hex string to a binary string. So we have the code here. We've got our index set to zero at the beginning. We've got the buffer on the stack at RBP minus 158, setting that to the right pointer. And then we've got the hex pointer, the attacker controlled value. We're doing string n length, but the maximum size is 20,000. And that seems a bit big. Basically, it's saying that it will allow for indices up to 20,000. Well, down here in this convert hex, it's going to be reading from the hex pointer at index starting at zero. So index zero shifted up by eight and index one. And this is going to convert a hex value like hex 90 written in ASCII and convert it to a binary value hex 90 written in binary. So that is written into the right pointer. And so the right pointer starts at RBP minus 158 and it's going to be incremented by pointer plus plus for each byte that's written into it. Then the index is plus equals two, and we continue on with the loop. Well, it's a while one loop, which means the only way out of it is this break condition. And because this hex pointer is fully attack controlled and it'll go up to 20,000, that means that practically speaking, this index is semi attacker controlled because they can just keep you know, increasing the value of the string in order to just to keep increasing the index. So if that is a semi-attacker controlled value, that means that this is effectively an asset exit condition. And that means this is effectively a manual memory move. So what does that mean? Well, that should cause your sploity sense to tingle because we've got an asset loop exit condition and a manual memory copy going on inside the loop. And if we go back and we consult our common root causes, we see that that is the caret cause, the sequential data writes within a loop with an exit acid exit condition. So that is not safe. And what does that look like in this picture form? Well, we start with the right pointer down here and we've got the index zero over here in our hex pointer. And so it's taking and converting these two ASCII characters, nine and zero, and turning it into binary 90. Then it increments the right pointer increments the index by two, and we're going to get another 90, and then another 90, and then another 90. And because ultimately this hex pointer is an attacker controlled string, as long as it's less than hex 20,000, they can just keep copying and copying and copying. And well, this buffer was only hex 158 big before it starts overwriting stuff like the RBP register or the return address. So ultimately, this leads to a stack overflow attacker controlled return address. So what was the fix for this vulnerability? Well, unfortunately, we don't know because it is proprietary code and there was no patch analysis done by the researcher. And consequently, we just don't know. So here's the additional reading, which you can find on the website as well.